Hello guys. Jets by here. And you know what time it is? Tutorial time and gone. So hey guys, this is Jetspy and welcome back to my channel where you guys learn about some cool new effects for making your edit look better and easy in no time. So guys, before starting the video, I would like to thank you guys for helping me reach this 600 uh, subs target which I don't think so I would have achieved without you, without your love and support. And also I would like to apologize for not being active as I am not on good terms with my health and also I am a bit off schedule right now uh, the montage which i uploaded for 600 subs uh, c year was meant to be uploaded at 500 and uh, in the same way i promise you guys to upload weekly tutorials but i couldn't i'm hoping that you guys would understand and uh, i myself will try my best to get back on track from now on so after being a bit uh, senti let's talk about the main video where I'll be teaching you two new effects which I have already used in my montages and many of you have also asked for this so keeping the waiting aside let's get straight into the video so for the first effect guys I have named it as triple clone effect which will require scan line deep blue and invert I have also used it in my kacha badam edit so to use it first of all fire up your after effects uh, let me show you the clip. I have twisted it uh, already as you can see and also I am voice recording right now So there might be no sync with the video. So for the first step guys uh, duplicate your main layer and uh, Rename them. I'll uh, rename BG and uh, Roto uh, as I will do Roto brush on the first layer also guys make sure you hit the preview scale to full so that you get uh, full details in uh, roto brush section what you have to do is hit this uh, roto brush you will get on the top and uh, double click on the layer uh, whichever it is you want to roto brush and uh, after zooming in uh, hit the play header at the first frame make sure to do that always after doing so, just simply drag this cursor around the object or the character you want to roto brush or mask out. Uh, make sure you get the outlines around that object or the character thoroughly and uh, also look out for the fine edges if you want to do it uh, a bit clean uh, and all. Uh, just make sure you check out the edges and uh, after this just hit this freeze button uh it will automatically uh, mask out other frames you want uh, to mask out and look here's the preview of the mask uh, which came out and after this guy just simply duplicate the roto brush layer two times and place them accordingly if you want to or uh, just simply i would suggest just rename them first of all as mid then left and also right or uh, whatever you name you want to give you can give them and after this guys what you do is just simply select both the layers and you have to keyframe the position uh, as default on the first frame and the last frame and in the middle uh, just uh, slightly drag the left layer towards the left and the right layer towards the right after this simply select both the first two keyframes of the layers and for graph editing I'll be using flow plugin you can uh, download it I have made a dedicated video so for the first two frames I'll be using fast slow graph and for the last two I'll be using slow fast you can also join my discord server where I have posted a custom preset for this plugin and for the second step guys add effect named as s underscore scan lines on the third main layer and copy my settings after this guys on the first mid layer add effect named as deep glow and for the second one add effect named as invert and remember to change the RGB to blue followed by adding a deep glow and enabling the last option and do the same with the third layer as well add invert change the mode as you desire and add a deep glow at the end and uh, as you can see this is the result. Also I would suggest you guys to add some your own imagination and uh, creativity to the effect. For example you can also uh, roto brush jet sand and play with the colors. Just try to own the effect and make it yours. 
I would suggest that. Before heading towards the next effect, guys, please make sure to credit me or mention me wherever you use the effects. It would mean a lot if possible. So for the second effect, guys, the name is glow element or uh, lighting. Effects used are color range, invert, alpha, and deep glow. What this effect does is it helps you add or change the color of the lighting. Why I should say the light system in the clips. You can basically manipulate the whole uh, lighting system, or I should say post processing in the clips. Very easy, which will help you give your edit a bit of professional look, which you can also see in my CR edit. I have used this effect in the whole edit. So keeping these things aside, let me show you the clip I'm going to edit. It's already twisted. Let me show you. As you can see. So after this, uh, for the first step, what you have to do is just go to the frame where you can mm, see the colors you want to make out or uh, pop out. I should say not make out. Sorry for that. After this, duplicate your layer, rename it as anything you uh, like. I'll go with lighting and double click on it. Open the layer, add a effect named as color range and you'll get uh, these kind of black shades. But you have to pick the first eyedropper and select the color you want to pop out. I'll go with the blue of this iron sheriff and uh, with the second eyedropper, I will be uh, selecting the sub colors or sub shades of this. And look, you have these all the blue shades popped out. Now you will add a preset named as invert alpha and you will uh, be left with only the colors you would like to okay so now at the end uh, you will pre-comp this layer and uh, add a deep glow and also now select this uh, last option so you will get all these glows on your color you want to also if you want to get rid of all the other lightings which is in the scene and only want it on the sheriff what you can do is select the pen tool and draw a mask around the sheriff and you will be left with the lighting only on the sheriff see and also remember that the preset used invert alpha is already there in your library uh, you don't need to download it also after fast forwarding the rest of the process you have to add a effect named as s underscore flicker which will uh, make it a bit uh, look realistic and copy the settings which i am doing okay that's it so after adding the effect you can see what kind of good lighting or the i should say realistic lighting we are getting in the effect uh, you can see the flicker and all and also let me show you it with the effect and without the effect you can see so yep this was the effect i learned recently so yep i have shared it with you as well and i hope so you will do the same you will share the video to your friends and all and also if you found the video useful or informative in any kind of way please do make sure to like and also subscribe to the channel for these kind of new tutorials and edits as well and that being said i'll keep you updated with any kind of new updates or any new effects i get to learn i'll make sure to share it with you guys so at the end i would just say there's something new and big coming up on the channel just stay tuned and till then see you sayonara mata goodbye